What's up guys, welcome to this exhalation, Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Do you know what is new in the March 2021 Power BI desktop update? If not, today we will take a look at two great improvements in my opinion. So guys, let's get started. Like I mentioned before, two great tips here. The first one is the x-axis constant line for line charts. The second one is about calculate. We have right here uh, the calculate filters option that has been improved. And finally, guys, I also have a really nice case where we put everything into practice. So now let's jump into the first point. Two points here. The first one, Power BI Desktop supports adding a next axis constant line in line charts for continuous type data. So this constant line is used in visuals in the anomalies pane to indicate the date time of the anomalies in the series. So very, very important. So now let's go to the next slide. Calculate filters. This is my favorite, okay? Power BI Desktop added extra flexibility in specifying multiple filters when working with a calculate function. So here, if you guys are not familiar with the calculate function yet, I'm gonna share with you a link so you can explore more about this powerful function in Power BI. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide. Case, two questions here. The first one, identify which specific date had the highest premium in place and identifier. And of course, we're gonna use the famous X axis constant line in line chance here. And the second point here is find the total premium for Texas or Xbox. And here we're gonna use the calculate function with this new uh, approach for the filters. So now let's jump into Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop and I'm gonna share with you as well this report so you can have it. So here I already have a chart, which is basically premium across time. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do here is the following. Let's select this chart. Let's go to analytics here. And let's find anomalies real quick. Okay, so let's add an option here. And let's, for sensitivity, have a 100%. And let's apply and see what happens. Boom. That it is. So here we have anomalies, right? For this particular case, we have right here the highest premium, and this is in 2014, and also last quarter in the month is October. So let's do something really cool here. So let's go back to this option here, uh, which is, we are still under analytics, and let's select x-axis constant line. And right here, there is an option called add. Let's hit this option here. And now, because in the X axis we have time, we need to select a date here, okay? So let's do that. So we know for sure that this is in 2014, right? This is when the anomaly happened. And we also know that it was in October. And for date, let's select just October 1st. And let's see what happens. Boom, there it is, guys. There is a line here, vertical line. And we can also edit this, right? So we can change the color here. How about this color? And we can also play with transparency. Line style, we can select solid if we want, but let's leave as dashed, okay? And we can also select position behind, in front of the chart. And then we can also add data label, okay? So as you guys can see, we see right here the date that we, we selected. We can change the color if we want. Let's match the color, orange, and also and let's place this to the right. There it is. And units, and that's it. That's how it works, my friends. So now we can easily identify when this anomaly happened. It was in 2014, last quarter, and we selected just a random date in October. And for this particular case was October 1st. So, and this is quite nice, right? Because quickly we can see 
when this anomaly happened. Okay, perfect. I hope you guys found this tip very helpful. So now let's take a look at the second tip. So now let's take a look at calculated filters. And this is my favorite. The question that we had was to find the premium for Texas or Xbox, which is the product claim. So let's create a couple of measures here. Right click, new measure. Now let's name this measure. Premium. And we're gonna use here the old version, okay? We're gonna use calculate here. And we're gonna use the first measure that has already been created, which is premium. Right here, if you guys remember, we're gonna use filter. And then we're gonna use this powerful function as well, the old function. And here, because we are applying filters to two different columns, we're gonna use these columns here as well to remove any filters within these two columns, okay? So it's gonna be city. And also this is gonna be block line. So the city here, if you guys remember, it's gonna be Texas. And also, but the question was or Xbox. So if you guys remember, let's use this operator, the or operator. And now here we're gonna use pro claim. Pro claim equal to Xbox, right? There you go, close parenthesis. So another parenthesis to close the calculated function and let's hit enter and let's see what happens. It seems like it's working fine, guys. So let's add right here a comma if we want. So real quick, what's happening here? If you guys realize, we are using the filter and we are also using the old functions, right? So that was the only way to create two filters or more filters as part of the calculated function. So of course, when we use the OR operator, OR, we can also use the end operator here. So that's what happened. So if we wanted to do that, we had to use the complex functions right here to create these filters. But now with this new option, I'm gonna show you the new option real quick here. So we can do the same and we can save time. So how do we do that? So what I wanna do here is the following. Let's copy this, okay? Because we need efficiency, right? Control C. Control V and let's change the name of the measure. Let's add number two here to differentiate it. And right here, what we wanna do is something really cool. So let's delete this. We don't need this anymore according to the latest update, the March 2021 Power BI Desktop update. So we can do the same without using that complexity, right? So basically we can add the filters here right away right? Like we are doing this right now. So city, Texas, product claim, Xbox, and now we are being more efficient, right? And let's hit enter and let's see what happens. Boom. It seems like it's working. Let's add a comma here and let's double check our work. So what I'm going to do here is the following. Let's create a couple of cards and let's select the first measure here, okay? Because this is the old version, right? And let's do that. Boom, perfect. And if we want, we can also edit this real quick. And now let's duplicate this. Control C, Control V. And now let's use the new measure, which is the new version, right? Boom. There it is, my friends. Perfect, that's how it works. Just a quick recap. So initially, this is the measure that we created, right? This was the old version. We had to add filter and also all in order to apply the filters, right? And now 
with a new version, we can do the same and we can save a couple of steps there, right? So we can use just calculated expression and then the filters right away. Awesome, this is very helpful. There you go. So what do you think? Do you find these two tips helpful? If so, leave your comments below. Just let me know. So now let's go back to our presentation. That was it guys. I hope you found this content helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.